Good morning. Let's turn our beauty light on. Let's get our Mickey Mouse Tinkerbell ears on. All right, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Southern Yankee Beauty. It's Sunday morning, and I have some new products that I want to play with and try out today. Um, so they are in here in my Sephora um, box, and my friend Amanda sent me something that did not work for her that I'm hoping will work for me. So I just did a little research on it. It is the new Jones Road Wet the Foundation, WTF, and it's in the color Light Clear. These retail for $44, and it's like a pot of foundation. Let me show you. And it's, um, it's a light to medium coverage. So here's how it comes. You do need to mix it. So I'm going to go and just take like the back of my foundation brush here and I'm just going to mix it because it does need mixing. It's going to have a bunch of oils. It's going to separate when you, um, it's going to separate in the process of shipping with the heat. So you're going to see all the oils up top. So I am going to go ahead and mix it. Um, I'm going to try this out and like I said, it says it has a light to medium coverage and it also says it's best done with your hands. So, um, so to melt the product with your hands and put it on. So, um, I don't know how much is enough. I'm going to go ahead. That's probably too much what I have on here, but we're going to we're going to go with it and just see what we get from this. So out of the 12 shades, they say each shade matches about three different shades on the spectrum of the, like it, it goes three shades. Uh, like, so 12 shades is essentially 36 shades. Um, so they're saying just move this in with your skin put this in with your skin. So, and they're saying that this is, why isn't this just considered a tinted moisturizer? And the answer is because it actually has more coverage than a tinted moisturizer. I will tell you though, I've had several, um, tinted moisturizers. And in fact, I used one yesterday, which was the pure cosmetics tinted. And that had, I would say the same, if not more pigment than this. So this feels sticky. Um, almost like you're putting a moisturizer, like a sticky moisturizer on your face. I don't know. I mean, it's really sticky. You're going to have to set this for sure. And you're going to have to wash your hands afterwards. So, which try not to look at my hands. I was digging in black mulch yesterday and my hands all around the nails are black. So I got to take my nail polish off and start over. But I've got more gardening to do, so we're going to wait. All right, so right away, just the feeling of this on my face feels thick and sticky. Not a fan of how it feels. We're going to let it sit for a minute. I'm going to go wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, so it still feels super sticky. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of concealer. I got a couple little spots. Um, I do agree that it gives a light to medium coverage and... We'll see how the wear is. This is my very first impression. Um, I have not worn this, haven't tried it before. Um, I know Amanda really didn't like it. And I know that it has like mixed reviews. So the light to medium coverage is great for summer. I was thinking though in my head that it would also feel very light on the skin. And I find it to be opposite of that. I find it to be feeling very heavy on my skin, which is a shame. Um, cause you know, if it was really lightweight and where you felt like you almost couldn't feel it, that'd be perfect for the summer. So, all right, let's get some primer on these eyes as well. I'm going to use the Jaclyn cosmetics one. This is such a good primer guys. Um, if you've got aging skin, although I've seen people, you really use like a lot of it and you just don't need a lot of this. It's kind of got like what I think is like a silicone base to it. It's, um, if you have dry eyes, you're going to love this very moisturizing, um, creamy, almost like a gel. And I found with aging eyes, it just, keeps your makeup on all day really beautifully. So we're going to let that sit for a minute. Okay. Now I am going to go in and powder because 
it just doesn't feel good. So I'm going to go use my Jouer powder. And I mean, it's, geez, it's sticky to my, it's really sticky, just so you know. I don't think you'll get through the day if you don't powder with this foundation because it's probably one of the stickiest foundations and it doesn't seem to be setting down. I mean, I washed my hands really good twice and it's still like, even with the powder on it, it still feels sticky. So we'll see how this does. It's, it's been like an internet TikTok sensation and it's not super cheap. And so I don't like how messy it is. Um, So the pot, I've seen pots of foundation like this before. This is like a jar of foundation. Um, how much do you get in here? So you get 25 grams or 0 0.80 ounces. So when you buy a typical jar of foundation, it's usually one ounce. So you're getting less in these jars. Uh, well, that this one, I just let make, make me a liar out of me. This is a Jouer. This is uh, 0.68. Um, let me look at one of my other jars. Il Maquillage. Yeah, this is a standard one. This is one full ounce. That's what you would normally get. Jouer is different because it's a serum and it's drops. So it's not, it's not the same. You use a lot less of the Jouer. So for a, like a thick foundation like this, you would think that it would be a full ounce. Um, you think I'd also learn from using this brush last time that this is the brush that is shedding all over my face and lips. I'm going with this one. This is a looser one. I'm not trying to put so much powder on, but I just want to get the stickiness gone. Okay, so that's what the skin looks like. Um, I would not say just off the bat that the skin looks gorgeous. Uh, let's brighten it up a little bit. It looks good. It just doesn't have a lot of color to it. It's just sort of, it looks kind of gray in this shade. Um, it didn't give a lot of vibrancy or beautifulness to the skin. Um, that's fine. It's fine because I think the skin overall looks good right now. Um, I do think it looks good. And we're going to bronze it up. We're going to, you know, use other things to fill in. So we're going to use, this is my new Jouer bronzer duo and we're going to go in and we're going to bronze up and get our skin a little bit more. I'm just going to mix the shades a little bit more warmed up. And I, my goal is just to see, like, I, I can deal with the foundation being messy. I can even deal with how sticky it is as long as it's set down, which it did once I powdered it. And if it looks good and it lasts all day, that's kind of what I care about, you know? And right now I do think that the skin looks good, especially since we're adding the bronzer. So we'll see how long it lasts. Hopefully my light lasts a little bit too because I didn't finish charging it this morning before I'm filming and what'll happen is it'll get really bright and then it disappears and we go out. So we're gonna do what we can here. Okay, I think that looks pretty. I think the skin looks nice. Um, all right, so is there anything else I need here really quickly? Um, I do wanna prime. I've got this new Lash Food Conditioning Collagen Lash Primer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, that's kind of thick. I don't think that's going to work. Looks like it's dried up, maybe. It's really thick. I don't think that's going to... Okay, that's dried up. That's going to go in the trash. It's just dry and it won't adhere to my lashes. So that's no good. Okay, so... Skipping that, we're going to go back into this palette here. Last time I used this palette, I did a look with like these shades here, and I really want to use this shade, these shades right here. So I'm gonna start off here. This is the um, Heather Austin and Adept Cosmetics palette. It's such a pretty palette, and you guys did want to see more more um, looks with it, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go in the color Atlas. Let me bring you guys in. And I'm going to go in the color Atlas. It's just 
Teddy Bear, Bear Brown shade. And we're gonna lay this down and we're going to just get a nice little start for a transition shade. And I think I'm using a um, Ruffer or a Morphe. Morphe M513 brush is what I'm using. Uh-oh, the light's getting bright, which means it might go out on us. And we'll have to just make do with whatever light we have in here if that happens. Guys, I'm so sorry ahead of time because then I feel like you can't really see the looks really great. But I always do take some close-up shots at the end of the look so that you guys can really get a good look at what we did. So, um... I'm curious if any of you guys picked this palette up. I knew the minute that it came out that I wanted it. Um, it Adept Cosmetics has, I had already bought a couple other of their palettes and found that I really liked them. They have beautiful, beautiful duochromes and multi-chromes, which are in this palette as well. And they're just so beautiful. The shades are so, so good. I just, the only thing I would say if I were going to critique this palette, this, there's not a lot of mattes. There's very interesting mattes. So there's this one, this one, this one, this one. There's four matte shades and they're beautiful and they're beautiful fall shades. But I would have loved to see, because there's lots of pinks and purples, like a mauve um, matte in here, like um, a lighter matte shade. That's what I would have liked to see in this palette is just a lighter a lighter matte shade in maybe in the pink or rose family. Um, but you know what? Those shades are a dime a dozen. We all have them. We can all get them. So do we need them? No. All right. I'm going to start with the outer corner now and go into that um, PA02 shade, which is like this plum shade. And we're going to put that right here this is just going to be probably a simple three look three shadow look i'm going to use the um that beautiful it's called passport and it's like a purple pink duochrome oh goodness it's it's the prettiest shade it's one of my favorite shades in here and it's just so gorgeous on the eyes it does just really neat to look at. It's like one of those shades you just can't look away from, you know? And this shade is a great one for an outer, to deepen your outer corner, this pretty like dark plum. And I think this shade, this palette in general is going to be beautiful, beautiful going in, like I said, into the fall with the shade she chose, that hunter green and that mustard shade and this burgundy shade. And she's got that brown shade that we laid down. So I think this is will be, be a really nice fall palette but if you want to like summarize it you can just get some mauve transition shades and there's so many pinks and purples here you can make this summer a summer palette as well so i'm just blending this very gently on my lid just to get this outer corner it's a little sticky the skin is like maybe i should have powdered over maybe i should have powdered over um the, what am I trying to say? The, the lay down stuff we did, the primer. Jeez. Oh, okay. I am going to go into my Sephora palette and there's like a cream shade here and I'm going to use that just on the top to blend like right in here, just to blend the edges out and also just give us a nice little bright pop. right up into our unruly uh, eyebrows today. They're a little out of control, apparently. All right, I'm gonna take that same shade and go right in here too, right in the inner corner. It's just a like a cream shade. See, I get dark right here, so I'm going to actually put that shade right there. 
all the way up on my nose where it's dark. I could probably use some color corrector there and there on my nose. It just, it's like, it just gets like a dark cast for some reason, just my skin. Okay, well, there is our start. Now this, when the magic happens. All right, let me find good and I apologize I'm rubbing my nose constantly guys I've been sick I have COVID and um I've got a runny nose and some congestion so apologize all right we're going into passport which is oh it's such a beautiful beautiful shade I might wet this but I'm gonna try it dry first and then let's look at it and if we want it wet then we'll wet it so let's just see what we get Isn't that beautiful? So, so pretty. It's a little chunky. Yeah, I am gonna go ahead and I wanna, I haven't tried this wet. I mean, it's so beautiful, you really just don't need to, but I, I wanna try it wet and see what we're de dealing with. If that amps, amps it up, which I think it will. Yep, it does. It also makes it easier to get on the eye because it's a little bit of a chunkier formula. So just a little bit of setting spray on your brush. And that should give you a nice color. Gosh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Oh, let's do the other eye. I'm going to be staring at my eyes all day long today. They're so pretty. That's beautiful. All right, let's get to, I kind of got lost in the moment. I wasn't talking. I'm sorry. I was just so just enjoying the shadows there. All right, let's get to our bottom lash line. Let's go in with Atlas, the first shade, and I might have a little bit of that burgundy in here still, which is fine because that's what we're going to do. We're going to put the brown down and then the burgundy. There's the brown. It's burgundy. I'm just putting that on the outer edge too. I'm not like going everywhere with that. I'm pulling it up. All right, now I'm going to take the shade Hey Y'all right there, and it's like a purple, and I'm going to just put a little bit of that on the bottom lash line just to give a little bit of sparkle down there. This one does have some fallout, so, so you're aware. And then for the inside corner, I'm going in with this one here, which is Austin. I'm 
It's pretty. You can see it's um, got a lot of little pieces coming off too. It like it's chunky as well. All right, that's the eyes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some liner and lashes and I have um, Amanda sent me some lashes. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put these ones or these ones on, I don't know. I'll, you'll know when I know and I got some lash glue. So, but first I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Kelly Ray mascara. Um, and I'm not going to put any liner on the top because when we use these beautiful duo chromes, I just don't feel like we need to put the liner on it up there. Sometimes I will, if I have a thick band with the um, eyelashes, I'll put a light liner up there before lashes just to kind of camouflage the band of the lash line. But um, right now I'm really just putting mascara down to give the eyelashes something to grip to. So we're just putting a little bit. And plus, today is shower day, so I can wear these all day and then try to get the glue off my face when I'm done. I wish you guys could see in the how beautiful some of the shimmers, um, the shimmers on my lid are looking in person. Cause you, I, you can't. I'm looking in the monitor and you can't even. You're not even close to seeing how beautiful these shadows are from Heather Austin. They're just stunning. She did a good job picking colors. And I like that she gave us a lot of the special shades, a lot of the duochromes, multi-chromes. Yes, there's only four mattes, but you can go get mattes from any palette, like I mentioned, to pull your looks together. And there's enough in here that you can create a full look with this palette, even though I think there is like a matte mauve shade missing from here for with all the pinks and purples in here I have those shades elsewhere so I'm not concerned about that and like I said this is the clean beauty Cali Ray I think this is a waterproof mascara I'm not really sure all right so there's that um I've got to just put some I'll put this Jaclyn um, eyeliner crayon on in the smooth black on my bottom line. I don't think I've used this yet. Let's see if we can get it inside my eye because it looks like I'm just making a mess. Well, it's pigmented. Yeah, very pretty. All right, there's that. Actually, let's do, before I put the, uh, let's finish up. Before I put on the rest of the, the mascara and stuff, let's go ahead and put, I have this PYT Hot Flush Blush, which I've never used in the color Flirty. I don't know if it's a cream or a, I'm not really sure if this is like a cream blush or if this is going to be a powder blush, but, um, and I think this came in, I want to say this also came in an Ipsy, but I might be wrong on that. I don't, I'm not, I think it did though. All right. So this is kind of like a nude color. Okay, it's a nude color and it is a powder. It is not a cream. I was kind of hoping it was a cream, but it's not. So, I have this Mora one. Yeah, that's a pink. Uh, I guess we'll just use the nude one because that's what I said I was going to do. Let's use it. Let's see what it does. So, we're going to get a neutral shade with this, like a neutral tone, which is fine because the eyes are busy. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Well, that's pretty. It's just a very, it almost looks like a bronzer on me. Like I'm using bronzer as blush. Almost. I mean, it definitely has some kind of a little bit of a pinker hue to it. 
but not much. All right, and then I do have a new highlight from Laritzi right here, um, Liquid Beam. And for this, I'm just going to put it right on the skin and rub it in. I used this yesterday in the unboxing video. Actually, it just went up today and I think I liked it. It looked pretty. It's like just a little spotlight highlight. It's nothing like beaming like crazy shine. It doesn't do that. It gives more of like a natural, I would say, highlight. It just looks a little bit more natural. I'm going to put a little bit more on, just get a second layer going on both of my cheek leaks. See if it could be built up a little. I didn't want that under the eye. There, I think that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. Do don't think I have a new lipstick today. I do have this plumper, which we can start off on. Actually, I have this one from Cargo. That was that purple. I mean, I guess we could use it. This is going to be a lot. Um, this is probably not the color I'll finish for the rest of the day. But I'll go ahead and line my lips with this um, Dose of Colors lip liner in the color unbox eyeliner so i'll use that to start and then maybe and then i'm going to use just a very very light hand with this lipstick because i mean if you saw the unboxing of it you know it's super dark and purple looks like a grape and the only other new Hold on. The only other new lipstick that I have is bright orange, which also won't work. Which Robert hated. I had it on yesterday when he came home. He hated it so much. He was like, what do you have on your lips? You need to take that off. It doesn't look good. <laughs> he was so funny. He's like, you know it's orange, right? <laughs> Robert doesn't know anything about, like, anything about, like, fashion or makeup. He just knows, like, A, he likes it, or B, he doesn't. And he doesn't usually give opinions. So when he does, he he obviously feels strongly if he's giving me an opinion on something I'm wearing. Because I don't think normally he cares. Okay. This is like a lighter liner than I thought. You know, see how dark it is? I thought it would be like a dark liner that could carry this lipstick, but not so much. Okay, this this lipstick, I'm going to go very lightly. Oh, it's so bright. Mm -mm. Then we can put over the top the um, plumping gloss. I'm going to make a mess. I just know it. Let's do that. Let's put the plump gloss over this crazy color. This is the stuff that burns your lips. Okay, I'll be right back with my lashes. All right, guys, I got the lashes on. Let me bring them in. Do 
and you can see the finished eye. As far as the lashes go, these are called Winsome Lash, and I use the color Envy at the bottom. Um, these are not going to be, they're really cute in presentation wise, but not great for beginners. They have a thicker band. Um, in fact, it's that sticking right there. There we go. Um, so they have a thicker band and they're a little bit stiffer and harder to work with. Um, like I'm having a little issue with this one right here. So if you're brand new using lashes, my suggestion would be to get a, um, to get either Kiss or Ardell if you're just starting out. So since I'm having a little trouble with the band, I'm going to take this black and come up and draw a mock line there. And one there, and that'll just kind of look like it, it'll make it like, like it's like it's one line instead of my lashes start here. Whoop. Oh, <laughs> look at that lipstick. I knew that that lipstick was going to make a problem on my face today. Okay, so all that I have left to do is just like an overall powder, like a setting powder. Um, excuse this. I want to use a little bit of a looser powder, not the pressed powder. So I'm going to use this um, flower by Beauty Bakery. It says better is not bitter. And I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this. we're done so those so we use some new products today we use this new blush which I like this blush I'm gonna put a little extra little bit more on since we put so much highlighter on um, this is just a great everyday neutral neutral blush there's not I mean it's it's like a brown blush brown brownie pink and the lipstick is not something I'm gonna get a ton of use out of I'll wear the lashes um, obviously I love, love the eyeshadow palette and I definitely wanted to show you guys this look and I think that the foundation looks pretty. We'll see how it holds up. Um, like I said, it's a little bit messy. It's not like my cup of tea completely. Um, but if it wears well and it looks good, look at this hair. I got to go in there and straighten it so all right guys so that is that is today's look so i hope you guys enjoyed everything trying everything on trying all the new stuff i think the big thing was really wanting to try this jones road what the foundation let me know if you comment or if you tried this down below and what you think um mine was in the color claire i think it's good for 12 months yeah light or claire that's the color i've got I'm going to have issues all day with this foundation or this lipstick. Okay, I'm going to stop messing with my face. I need to blow my nose again. And I will see you guys all in the next video. And I'll have all the products linked below. But it's also Sunday. So happy Father's Day to all of your wonderful daddies out there. Anybody who is a father figure to you. Um, if there's any dads watching my channel, happy Father's Day to you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Sit your chat. You got nothing to hide Yeah, your future's so bright So just smile like there's no one watching Early morning on a Saturday Wake up, it's time to get it started No one's gonna get in your way No one's gonna leave you broken hearted You don't need nobody else Everyone knows you're doing well So well, yeah Not a worry in the world, you ain't scared of nothing You a boss kind of girl, you got all your